day, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're seeing this, whatever time. Hope you're doing well. This is my first vlog, obviously. Um, it does feel quite awkward doing it because <laughs> I never just sat in front of a camera and talked to it because you just do look like a bit of an idiot, not gonna lie. So, yeah, this is gonna get changed and then we're gonna start the day. So. Can you actually feel that? Huh? The size of this car, bro. <laughs> this foot's got to go though. Oh, that is bothers, bro. It's actually a shame that it's like that. That's got to go. I can't show no more. I actually can't show no more. Okay, so I haven't actually shown you what I've done today, so... That is my day. Compex. Wait. That was that little pulsating machine. I was just making my quads tense bare hard. That was obviously just a rub. That was my range of movement. Core, you saw me do a Pierre. And yeah, I got these others to do later on. So. Yeah, that was quite a bit. So movement wise, if you put both your hands up, can you do it all the way down? Oh, that is silly. Anything like... Oh, come on, come on. Oh, oh that is silly. Only allowed to film stuff I say <laughs> I like film. That is silly. No, honestly. Alright. Honestly. Yeah, I'll Get stop. that deleted. I'll stop. I'll Get that deleted. I'll, 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 I'll cut that. <laughs> that is so silly. I'll cut that silly. later. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and slow. Yeah, it's nice and slow. That's what it is. So now it's literally really slow. So Put weight through your other foot if you need. To begin with, and just practice that almost like a little mini squats. You've been doing them already, haven't you? Yeah. Fine. So, just do it, but just practice putting a bit more weight on one side than the other. So, you've still got your left leg there, so it's supporting you. But make sure you're going down and then properly locking up. Does that make sense? You good? Oh, you like to shot with me. I think a lot of people would be interested about this, you know. It's quite an interesting it's treatment. It's different, isn't it? Slapping me on my leg as well. I'm trying to explain it. So basically, I'm holding this. What does it, what does it do for me holding this? Oh. So it creates a circuit. So Connor's got his little bit of metal there, which is attached to the hive mat, which is also yep. attached to my leg. Yep. And then as soon as I touch Connor, it creates a circuit, yep. which causes vibrations to help uh, with the massage to get any fluid and nice. junk out of his knee. So it's just a circuit. It's actually warms up the knee on my Okay, oh, you got one shot, yeah? You got one shot. Put it top bins. Let me get into a good position. I need to get a good angle on this. If you've missed, if you missed the goal, then it's got to be press ups or something. There's a lot of pressure on you now. I want it bins, like or at least side netting. Uh, uh, it's a bit weak that. Hasn't even left the ground. <laughs> 
So we'll just pretend that it. We just pretend. We'll pretend that this is shot number one, yeah. Oh yeah, it's the shoes, isn't it? Yeah, the shoes. It's definitely missing. Funny. Oh, plastic. Can't hit the target. Maybe next time. Shambles. Did you say you want me to hit the crossbar? Yeah. You want me to hit it? All right. All right, I'll just hit it now for you. Not weak foot. So I'm now moving on to legs. Um, this is what I've got to do. All of this stuff here. It's pretty basic. Also, I can't do heavy stuff for my knee yet. Okay, so my day is basically finished and we're ending it with a protein shake from Grenade. The club's actually sponsored by Grenade, so we basically all get one of these handy little protein shakes. They are pretty cool. So in this bit, you see there's like two compartments. This bit is like where I've got the thingy now and you can store powder in there. So I'm basically having a shake now and then for later, before I go to bed, I'll have another protein shake. Because my main goal for the rehab is to get wham, so I'm going to try to put on weight. Having lots of protein and stuff, so yeah, that's the main goal. Just have lots of these, pretty much. Hopefully, by the end of it, in 12 months' time, we can look back at this video, see how small my arms are, and then I'll be like 8 kg heavier. That's that's the plan. 68 kg, 67, 68 kg is the plan when I'm back fit. So hopefully, we can reach that goal. Okay, guys, we've just finished. Um, I'm back at digs. A lot of you wouldn't know what Diggs is, so basically, because um, cause of where I live, this is all my teammates as well, we have to like live away from home during the week so we can train and stuff, so I, I go home on weekends, and I've been doing it since I was like 12 years old, so I'll, I'll get into that until like, another day, but yeah, we finished the day, it doesn't really stop there though, um, see that machine I was doing earlier, it was called the Compact, I still got that to do today, like tonight, every night I'll still do it, just to make sure this doesn't stiffen up and to try and make sure my quad stays strong um, I've also got something called the game ready I'll show you in a, like in a clip in a bit um, basically it's just a big machine that wraps around my leg it compresses it, ices it, makes it really cold like a lot colder than um, just having an ice bag it's a lot better and um, yeah so I've just got that the Compex which is like what makes my quad like tense up without me even doing it myself which is quite fascinating I guess for you guys, especially when I first ever used it, I did find it quite um, fascinating. So let me just talk about how my knee's doing today. The last like few days or so, um, probably the last week, um, obviously I had my meniscus done and my ACL. The meniscus is basically just like um, two little sponges. So you, say that's your, so this is my, my quad bone, my femur, whatever it's called, I can't remember. This is my shin bone. And you know they sit together like that to make the knee. There's two little sponges in there that basically just like um, make it so the bones aren't grinding on each other. And one of them little sponges on the right hand side for me, so this side, I just had a little tear in there, which um, I had two stitches in. And uh, the last week or so I've been feeling that just a little bit, like, it has been, like, it's, it has been restricting me from like tensing and walking, it's just been uncomfortable and stuff, but that's kind of gone away and the pain is kind of like today, 
Like it's kind of more central. I don't really know why. I think it's just like, I think it's just it, getting used to everything again, like getting used to the weight, getting used to the exercises. So that is hopefully what it is. But I've got to see the surgeon next week, next Monday, I believe. So I'm seeing the surgeon again. He can look at it. Hopefully, I'll have some scans and stuff to see if everything's going all right. Um, and my quads used to be quite big, believe it or not. They did used to be quite big, but this one, because I haven't used it since surgery, is now it's week six in surgery. Week six tomorrow, actually. Well, when you're watching this, it will be week six today, actually, because it will be a Wednesday when you see this. So yeah, it's actually week six today that I've done this, and my quads literally, it just shrinks. You don't believe how much it would shrink without using it, but it literally shrank. My hamstring literally fell off. Without me, it's, just, it's actually a joke how much it is, but this quad, I have, still, I have lost a bit of strength in this quad because I used to be squatting like 130 kg for 10 reps. That was literally at the stage I was at with squatting because it, it was in the off season. I literally just worked on lowers a lot, a lot, a lot, and then I come back, believe it or not, three sessions, like the first Saturday of pre-season, this happened. I couldn't believe it, so yeah, my quads have shrunk a lot. My hamstring fell off, but I'm, I'm getting that strength back now as I'm walking a lot more and stuff. So, you know, I've kind of waffled quite a lot now, so it's probably boring. It's probably picked off the video, but if you have watched it, thank you. And yeah, I'll see whatever I'll do in a minute. It's probably just going to be game ready. I don't know. Okay, so this is the game ready. Alright, let me try and reset it for you. As soon as I turn it on. This is how it's set up. So I've got to press this. See this bit above here? This is like the pressure. So it's on low at the moment. I usually have it on medium pressure. So that's like when it's tight enough around my leg. I'll just put this up to 20 minutes. So that's how long it's going to run for. You put water and ice in here. There's like a little thing you need to fill it up to. Water and ice. If there's too much water, if there's too much ice, it can like make the machine not work. It's got an ice box here. Just for the ice. So yeah. That's how it is with the lid and down. Attaches to this. This just goes around my leg. So basically, it just wraps around my leg like this. Attaches to that. This got to turn this on. So that as soon as I press play, you can hear that all coming up now. And this will eventually just bubble up and give you a very tight. Okay, so we're probably like halfway through now. As you can see, it's all all around the crease out, like. There's a lot of pressure on this right now, and it's very cold, so that's basically the end of it. Just compress it down, and it'll be very cold pretty much. So I'm going to show you what it looks like after it's done. It does look pretty cold, not going to lie. Alright guys, so I'm now editing up today's vlog, as you can see here. Obviously I've got the complex machine on me right now as well, as you saw earlier in the vlog today. But yeah, I'm literally just editing it up now. But I think I'm going to end the vlog there, obviously I don't think I'm going to do anything between now and when I go to bed. That's actually interesting for you, but if you do have any questions, if you are new around here, obviously, just ask any questions down below. Like, message me through Twitter or something like that. All that sort of stuff is in the description, but, yeah, this is my first vlog. Like, it's probably not the best, but it's more it's more of a personal thing. For, like, in a year's time, I just want to be able to see, like, my progression for everything, obviously. And, obviously, if people are interested, then people are interested, so... Also drop a like, comment down below, any questions and that. Here, hit me up on Twitter, that's the best place for me to reply to and stuff. But yeah, I'll hopefully see you.